as I thought. Look, uh, someone's cut all these mangroves down. Look, these mangroves all been cut. I thought they'd been poisoned, but someone's cut them. Look, there's all these swimming tree cuts. Look, on these mangroves over here. What the hell's been doing that? Ah, oh, right. Crazy stuff, rubber. What's been going on over here? Oh, yes, good afternoon, everybody. How are you all going? I came down here earlier. As you know, we're at the oyster spot. And someone's cut down these mangroves that were being cut for some reason. I don't know why. It's like someone's got some cutters in here and snipped them all. Some of them. Anyway, so uh, I came down earlier on. Uh, low tide was half past ten. Came down two hours later, half past twelve, and uh, I was still pretty full. So. I went around and saw a mate for a couple of hours, had coffee with him. We can gather some oysters, but look, it's all been cut. All these, what the hell? All these mangroves. Look. What are the other doing that for, I wonder? Anybody know? Know what's going on? So. We're going to have some oysters. Been hanging out for a feed of oysters, so here we are. Let's see if we can find some today. The wind's just popped up. So we're going to go a bit further back into these mangroves here to find some now. In hard case, I haven't been here for a while. Let's look over here. I mean, I'm getting hungry for some oysters. How about we'll go over there, eh? Hopefully, we won't get stuck in the mud. Oh, shit, stuck there just then. Let's have a look there. A few small ones. Nothing, anything decent. Be big in there. And this one here, I think. That will do. Hard to see any uh, decent sized ones in here today. What's that one doing? Oh, they can come home. That's not too bad. Yeah. So, you want a few of these ones? Just gonna have a look. Heck, only one under there. Ugh. Oh man, oh. stuck. Ugh. Stuck rubber. Oh. Bloody hell, far out. My rear band's got holes in, so I gotta wear these. Big steel caps. Uh, uh. Alright. Good bit of walking around in the socks. Got all these here, just in this under this uh, mangrove here. There's a heap of them. All in one little area. Look. All those under this mangrove. A bit small, I need that one there. Hmm. This mangrove here was really good. There's quite a few under here. Oh, look at that one sticking out of the sand, out of the mud, out of the old mud flaps. Yeah. It's a good one, that one. A couple there on there actually. 
on the old mud flaps. Another one there, look. Another one here. You guys can't see that one. I'll pull it up. Here it comes. Yeah. See a couple over here. Here we go. There's a few in here. I think. There's some. Right there, another one there. I think no, no. There's one Look. hiding under the under the mud. Rubber, white. Right? There's rubber. Happy ears. Perfect. This one here's been in the sun, but oh shit. There's a few sticking out here. There's one there. Up little buggers, these are oh, yeah. Oh, Mr. Here we are. Choice who likes oysters, eh? Look, right there, there's one A little one, another one there, another one there. That's a good one, a good size one. Let's go! There's a lot to would say. Let's have a look over here. Here we are. Well, we can probably get the rest of our way under our quota. Enough for a taste test and some for the whanau. Now the father likes eating these so we'll get him some as well. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Get in the sun so you guys can see it. I've got my chilli bin in the car too so I'm just going to put them in the chilli bin. And we'll clean them when we get home. Get you guys to see it as well. Just got this big one here, look. Hopefully there's something inside it. Let's get all the mud off it. Look at that. Oh, it's a big it's a big shell, but the oyster's all down the bottom here. And this big bit here, rest of it's just shell. But it might have a fat oyster inside. There you go. Jeez, it's pretty, pretty stuck now. Rubber. Oh. And one there. That, my friends, is enough. Oh. Heaps, heaps of shelling to do. Getting worse here, rubber. Might have to go backwards. How are you going over there? All right. These are lovely little oysters there. All cleaned. All the uh, mud off there. It makes it easier to open. A few little ones. There's some. Uh, I mean, pretty good for around there. That one looks pretty tasty. Check that one out. Yeah, took half an hour, not even that to get those. Another good feed of oysters from the old secret spot.
I normally eat my oysters raw, so this is very unusual for me to have cooked oysters. Tarragon's quite nice. Mm, gives it a really nice flavour. Get a bigger piece this time. Yeah, I should quite enjoy that. I think I still prefer the taste of the oysters raw. Definitely, it's got a nice taste. So I'm quite impressed with that flavour from that from the fritter. It's really tasty. I've got lemon juice on it as well, and that aioli. You know what? I'm just going to use my fingers. Check that out there. See the lovely oysters and the lovely green. Fresh herbs, herbs, and uh, yeah, that was really nice. I enjoy that tarragon, it's very tasty. First time I've had it in my garden this year, and uh, it came in handy for these lovely oysters. Mm, I substituted some chives for the spring onions, but definitely would do well with some uh, spring onion in there. Red onion, something with an onion, oniony taste, that's the word. Mm -mm -mm. The Russian tarragon gives it such a nice flavour, definitely makes this fritter taste way better. Anyway, I'm gonna finish eating this because it's going cold, it actually is cold. I'm eating this cold for you guys trying to film it all, the cameras and everything like that. Anyway, so um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. As I continue to eat this, is it recording? What is too? Okay, catch you guys later. Take it easy. Bye. Oh, I've got to put a bit of lemon juice on it, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, that's better.